Hi, it's me again, Ron Williams, the Hero Maker. Winner of 21 natural world titles, also inducted into the Natural Bodybuilders Hall of Fame, single recipient of the Natural Bodybuilders of Decade. I'm going to talk to you about something today that is very, very profound. It could be life-changing for you, and it's called Art Movement Technology. I developed this years ago, but now we're bringing it to the forefront, and I'm taking it from me, and I'm now delivering it to you. Now, what is Art Movement Technology? Art Movement Technology is a way of training that's going to protect your joints and the muscles. Art Movement Technology is also going to help you develop the muscle in the best way possible in the shortest amount of time. Now, let me explain this to you. When we're training, most of the time, all we're doing is trying to build that muscle and we never consider how is it affecting the joint? How is this actually you know, affecting the joints that I have? Because you can build a muscle and destroy the joint if you don't understand that each one of your muscle groups are made in an arc. You look at the chest, you look at the deltoids, you look at the biceps, your glutes, your hamstrings, your quads. Every muscle group in the body is made in this arc formation. But it's attached to a joint. In the upper body, the main joint that it's attached to is the shoulder. Now, this shoulder joint is very, 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 very um, uh, mobile. And what I mean by that is every muscle group in the upper body is attached to it. So it has a great deal of mobility and it can move in every uh, angle possible. But the problem with that is that it's susceptible to injury because of that. So what we have to do is remember this joint is a ball in the socket. This joint is a hinge. It doesn't move the same way the shoulder joint does. So as I'm working um, my bicep, I'm using the hinge. If I work my chest and my shoulders or my traps, it's attached to this muscle group that's a ball in the socket. So I've got to be very, very careful of what movements, movements I'm doing. Question I always ask, and a question you should always ask, is whenever you're doing a movement, is ask the question, is there a better way to accomplish what I'm after? Or ask the question, why? Why am I doing this? What are my intentions, and is there a better way of doing it? So, um, let me give you a few examples. Now, this is a muscle group that's made in an arc, like all muscle groups are, and if I'm gonna work that bicep, because it's on a hinge joint, it goes up and down. If I'm gonna work the chest, I can work the chest low, I can work the chest medium, and I can work the chest high. I've gotta concern myself with how that joint is moving, and am I moving that joint in a way that's conducive to protect the joint? If I'm working the chest and I pull my shoulders up, I'm actually going against that joint. I'm forcing the ball out of the socket. So I wanna make sure that I engage the muscle and use the muscle rather than forcing it into the joint. Force the muscle to do the work. With every exercise, there's a place on the body that you pinpoint and focus on so that you develop a complete contraction, a peak contraction. With certain exercises, they'll give you a maximum contraction, but they absolutely don't have the ability to give you a peak contraction. Bench press is a good example. I can bench press, push straight out, <clears throat> that's a maximum contraction. The bench press won't allow me to move any further than that because I'm restricted to that bar. So I go all the way down, <clears throat> have to stop at the chest, and all the way up, and I can't move anywhere from this point. But with arc movement technology, all of the movements are made in a complete arc. For example, look at a bird, the largest muscle group on a bird, the leanest muscle group on a bird, the most developed muscle group on a bird is his chest, and he flies in an arc. Okay, you see this movement, the arc? This arc with my arms is only a larger arc 
than the muscle is developed in. So the muscle is made in an arc here. So in order to work this arc, my arm has to move in that same uh, motion or that same configuration that the chest is made in. That gives you a peak contraction. On a bench press, uh, it's as far as I can go. But with arc movement technology, I miss all of that with the bench press. So I must work in that full arc. Most of the time with the bench press, they tell you to stop before you touch your chest. Part of the reason why is when gravity pushes down on us, it forces our shoulders forward. And what does that cause? It causes all of our movements to be done with the shoulders forward. So if I'm doing a bench press and my shoulders are forward, you know what's comfortable? I come down like this. If that's comfortable for me, I'm going against that joint. But the idea is to come down, watch my shoulders, they open, they open, they open, oh, and now I'm squeezing forward, uh, all the way forward. That's how you should work that movement. It won't destroy the joint. If the joint goes forward, you're starting to damage that joint. If you think about a dog, I know uh, most of you guys, you know, play with dolls, but those of you women that are watching, you would understand this. Uh, I used to play with Barbie dolls, but I played with them only to tear the head and the arms and legs off. Girls got mad at me for that. But when you take that Barbie doll and you raise the arm past this position, that ball comes out of the socket. It's no different with your shoulder joint. Remember, this is a ball in the socket joint and with arc movement technology, it keeps you within the structure of the muscle that you're working. So overhand, behind the head presses, not a real good exercise because it'll destroy the joint. Every time you do that overhead press, that ball comes out of the socket. If you do that long enough and you use heavy enough weight, eventually you're gonna start destroying that joint and you'll start feeling the damage taking place. Now this is just the beginning of this thing called arc movement technology. On the next video, we're gonna go a little deeper into it. You're gonna like that. Uh, remember, if you like this channel, you like what you heard, make sure you invite somebody else. And we're in the business of making heroes. I believe there's a hero inside of each one of us. We just have to bring it out. So invite your friends to this channel and come back and see us in the next video.